this is the newest Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet news that just came out today. I have not been keeping up with the news for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's been a long time since I've seen anything about it. So I'm going to watch this and react to it. So let's see what this has to show. All right, everyone. It's almost time to begin your journeys in Pikachu! the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon I love Violet Pikachu. games. Are you ready? You'll get to catch Pokemon, raise them, and battle them as you embark on an adventure where the familiar charms of the Pokemon series evolve into a new experience. It's giving me a the Arceus an vibes with region, some of that. I do love Arceus a lot. study program called the Treasure Hunt. And you'll search this vast world for a precious treasure of your very own. But hey, at this point, you probably knew all that already, right? Here's I, I'm not familiar with well every Pokemon. I'm still kind of new to some of it. At four particular trainers but I love Legends Haldea. of Arceus and I love now, let all the of the Legends begin. of Arceus vibes this has. Oh, cute piggy! This trainer is battling a Pokemon called Lechonk. Lechonk is a gourmand. It's proud of its nose, which it uses to sniff out delicious food. On the ducky starter they chose. I, I don't remember the name. Oh, look! Quaxly terastalized. Wait, what is that? I'm not sure what just happened there. Terastalizing is a phenomenon unique to the Paldea region, but all Pokémon can do it. Ooh, so they like, like... It adds extra punch to moves of the Pokémon's Terra type. They become stronger and they, they look all crystallized. Very fancy. What's that over there? Is that a glowing Pokémon? It seems to Ooh. be a Jigglypuff. But why is it shining so bright? Better approach it slowly and start a battle. Whoa, is, so was that supposed to be... Looks like this Jigglypuff Wait, has what? the water type for its Terra type. Apparently, these sparkly wild Pokemon will terastalize in battle. So terastalize is the new thing they have in this one. So does that mean it's like a stronger Jigglypuff when it terastalizes? I'm assuming this none. This Jigglypuff seems pretty tough. But Quaxley's strong too. Dealing enough damage to a wild Terra Pokemon causes its terastalization to come undone. Ah, so it's kind of like a like a hardened shield. Now, throw in a, a way. Pokeball. Nice! The wild Jigglypuff was caught. Some Pokemon, like this Jigglypuff, have a Terra type completely different from their regular type. Any Pokemon is capable of having any of the 18 different types oh, as its Terra Pikachu type. looks cute like that. Pikachu is one of my favorites. What's this? Quaxley's out there in the world, charging straight toward that Litleo. Oh, Looks what like was Quaxley that? battled Litleo on its own and What's won. What's a Litleo? That's it looked kind of like a little doggo thing. Go command. Using Let's Go will send your lead Pokemon out onto the field to battle. If a Pokemon gets sent out toward an item, it'll go pick it up. Just like Quaxley here. What a useful oh, just command like Arceus. for searching your surroundings. These Pokemon are so helpful, giving their all for their partner. Next, the trainer opens his map to see where he wants to go. You can set a place as your destination to keep yourself on track as you go. Then we can hop atop the legendary Pokemon Miraidon and get going. Ooh, I love that you can do and what you can have the ride like it's that. It's a base belonging to Team Star, the school troublemakers. Starfall Street, one of the three major stories that will make up your Paldean adventures, will unfold in bases like this one. Time to face Team Star. Our trainer rang the bell and barged into the base. That takes some guts. But things look bad. Ooh, there are lots of Growlithe. Growlithe. Around, and they keep sending out Pokemon. They just won't quit blocking the way. We'll Growlithe need to use Let's too. Go to defeat Team Star's Pokemon. There we go! All the grunts have been defeated at last. Oh wait, is that some kind of tricked out car? It that is. is a very crazy and vehicle. And is Mela, the boss of Team Star's and... fire crew. Well, she's definitely got she's some style going on there. <laughs> it's easy to see why she's a boss. Those are like, are those boots that she has? 
like Time crazy boots. Those like the craziest battle. boots I've ever seen. You'll have to wait for your own adventure. Actually, like that reminds me out. of. I feel like I now, saw that in another trainer. How's Super Mario 3D going? World, in one of the boss uh -huh. fights. I thought I saw She's like a vehicle kind of like that. Machine at a Pokemon Center. The TM machine lets you make your own TMs, also known as technical machines, using materials Pokemon drop when you defeat or catch them. That music sounds really nice. Now, where will she go next? Seems to be a desert-like area under a blazing sun. Just looking at it is enough to make you thirsty. Oh, her Rotom phone is ringing. Sounds like Arvin, her friend in the next grade up, needs some help. To give Arvin a hand, the trainer's headed to a rock face where a titan lurks. Whoa! This is one of the stops on the path. What the Lurk, heck? A story where you'll seek out legendary herbs called Herba Mystica. There it is! A gigantic titan Pokemon! Time to battle! Right off the bat, there's Icy Wind! The move our trainer taught Drifloon earlier. Icy Wind lowered the Titan Cloth's speed stat. Drifloon terastalized to become a Grass type. This is Terra Blast, a new move that changes type to match the user's Terra type when the user is terastalized. It ought to be handy for a Pokemon with a Terra type different from its regular types. That terastalization like sounds interesting. I still need to understand Wait, it though. What's our trainer doing now? Like, does that mean times? you can change your type to anything you want? Looks like she's taking a little break from adventuring to trade Pokemon with a friend. Oh, well, I'm very here, curious about the multiplayer in this. Giraffarig. Seems like she immediately added Giraffarig to her team, and she's gonna let it run around in the field and train up for some battles. So the Pokemon follows you. Sweet. Could Giraffarig be evolving? Hang on. Did its tail become its head? Or is its Wait, head wearing its what? tail? <laughs> tail become its head. Unexpected evolution. Seems like Giraffarig has evolved into Farigara. In the Paldea region's Pokedex, you can see photos of Pokemon. Looks like as it's well wearing some kind of a hoodie. Them, so you can get to know them even better. Let's check out the town of Artisan next. It looks like one big park. Now that the trainer's Pokémon have gotten stronger, it seems she's made her way to a gym. She's following Victory Road, the story where you'll conquer all eight gyms to achieve champion rank. Nimona, the battle-loving trainer who will show you the ropes, is all fired up. Before you can battle a gym leader, you'll first have to pass the gym test at their gym. Oh, a little sunflower thingy! Better get thingy. started right away. Whoa! That looks cute! Alright, that's the gym test passed. Time to battle the gym leader. That's like plants versus zombies. You have like the flowers. Here comes Gracias, the grass type gym leader with a striking entry. Whoa! Pseudo Wudo terastalized and became a grass type. You're definitely gonna need to be more on top of your you types okay, with that terrestrialization thing. How's our trainer gonna handle this one? I'm not sure what I think of that. I mean, it looks cool. Aha! She's gonna fight back. I guess by having her own have Pokemon to see like when the game actually comes out and try it for a sense. Fido became a flying type. That should give it an edge against this grass type pseudo Wudo. No matter who or what it you're could up be against, good though. Some smart if there's a Pokemon that you like a lot and it's not a good type against the boss or something and you want to like switch it so Pokemon. it's stronger. This trainer's heading into a hair salon to spice things up. Wow, look at all these options. How are you supposed to choose? So this kind of makes me think back to Pokemon huh. Sword. I kind of want to try that hairstyle too. And now to complete the look. Plenty to choose from here too. I feel like I could spend all day on this. But does it cost money? And while you're trying out all sorts of styles, how much you money can does it cost to camera change it? Snap, snap, snap. 
Now they've updated their profile picture. Looking back on photos you've taken of scenic vistas or memorable moments with beloved Pokemon is just one more way to enjoy your I wonder your if adventure. you could have multiplayer and like take a picture of now it's everybody who joins in the Pokemon. multiplayer. That'd be cool. When Pokemon have gotten dirty from a long journey, a nice scrub and shower gets them all clean. Oh, uh, you gotta give Looks your like Pokemon it feels a bath. Nice too. Before having lunch, Pokemon can get out some energy by playing with a ball. You can just tell how much fun they're having. Oh, wow. Could Pokemon this be a egg? Pokemon egg? Apparently, eggs can sometimes be found during picnics. Is that bread? And now, the moment we've been waiting for. Sandwich time! Pile on the This ingredients. trainer came prepared with plenty of ingredients they bought in town. It can be tough deciding which So you can make. wash your this Pokemon and you can stuffed. make some food. It might not hold together. Just gotta put the bread on top and finish it off with a pick. Hey! I love that! Yeah. They need to have that for real, that Eevee Let's pick. They have stuff like that. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, looks like it's a hit with everyone. So you just make it and then feed it to all the Pokemon there? Eating sandwiches can give you benefits, like making certain types of Pokemon easier to catch, or making your Pokemon gain more experience points. Time for a group photo with these satisfied Pokemon. Where to go next? Oh hey, looks like more of our trainer friends have shown up. Alright, they're gonna take on a Terra Raid battle. Can these trainers work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon before time runs out? So Terra Raid Battles. I know in Pokemon Sword they're the Raid Battles. Their opponent is a Chansey that's terrestrialized into a ghost type. What kind of fight will the strong, sparkling Chansey put up? It's really powerful. These trainers better stay determined, band together, and strike back. So it's actually giving me like Pokemon Sorbas with this instead of like. If your Pokemon gets knocked out in a I forgot what it's called, battle, like the Gigantamax thing. It has like the terrestrializing in this. The and then there's Rage just like in Pokemon Sword. Hang in there, so, so far, I'm I'm feeling like with using your um, moves, Scarlet and Violet is like a Pokemon Sword and it's Pokemon Legends Arceus teamwork. combination. So I'm saying kind of like Watch elements from both in here. And how you'll handle the fight and work with your I love Arceus, trainers. but Sword was Almost more there. of a Keep like uh kind of okay for me. But I'm still I've still been kind of on the fence whether I want to like completely go for this. I'm leaning towards a yes though, going for this game. Oh wow! That was a beautiful Terra Raid battle victory. And with it comes the chance to catch Sword and Arceus are the only when you join Pokemon games I have actually played so far, like main Pokemon, Pokemon games. Shine even brighter. All right, that Chansey with a rare Terra type is now part of the team. So, what'd you think? While you were getting a look at these four trainers' journeys, did you spot a glimmer of something that could become your personal treasure? Encounters with Titan Pokemon. Oh, that's that music also. Star, it kind of makes you think of Pokemon Sword. There's plenty more to be said about all these things, of course. What you just saw was only a glimpse of the adventures awaiting you in the Paldea region. It does look really cool, Which and I like Pokemon the the exploration, like Arceus. What sort of exciting adventures will you have? It's all up to I you. I like that you can ride the Pokemon. Your adventures are right around the corner. May they shine bright. I need to look into the um. So I guess that's it for that. I need to look into the gameplay more because I um I didn't really pay as like full attention to that. But yeah, I need to, I want to know the gameplay a little bit. Um Again, I really feel like this is Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Sword Shield combined into one. So like the elements like the Pokemon Arceus elements I super super love because I absolutely love Arceus. 
And I'm thinking the gameplay is kind of like Arceus from what I saw. Uh, do you want to learn more about that? I do love that you can, you know, ride the Pokemon and things like that. I'm still not really sure what I think about the terrest or terrestrialization. I'm not sure if I said that right. But I'm still kind of, hmm, not sure what I feel about that yet. But I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on this game and I'm leaning towards getting it. So I just might go with the purchase. It's coming out like in over a month. It's so close. But thank you so much for watching. This was my reaction to the latest news on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violets.